know tonight shows what led up to a deadly shooting right outside the Shively Animal Clinic. This is Wave News at 11. I'm John Bull. Today, a grand jury decided not to bring charges against a pet owner who shot and killed Trent Taylor. The shooter claimed self-defense. Taylor's family says the deadly force was not justified. We have this new video from inside the clinic that sheds more light on what happened. Wave News reporter David Ochoa walks us through it right now. Yeah, earlier today, Shively police released surveillance footage from inside the clinic. Now, the shooting took place outside, which has no cameras, but now we can see exactly what led up to the woman pulling the trigger. The woman first show up on the check-in camera at 6.14 p.m. on May 14th. Since no one's been charged with a crime, we've decided to blur all of their faces. Moving to the checkout camera, they talk to a staff member for a few minutes. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. At 623, the woman gives her purse to the woman in white and then walks into the hallway. From the front pharmacy camera, you can see TJ Taylor's mom running towards the woman. They start shoving each other. The woman in white tries pulling her away from TJ's mom. Seconds later at 624, they spill back into the view of the checkout camera. The woman in white is holding her back and looks to be attempting to calm her down. At the same time, TJ Taylor walks in through the door. Taylor takes off his gloves, and while the woman's back is turned, he hits her and runs away. The woman grabs her purse and takes out a gun as Taylor continues to come back, hitting and kicking her. In the check-in camera, you can see her approach Taylor, but he closes the door on her, so she puts the gun back in her purse. The investigation report mentions this video from a customer where you can hear some of what's being said. Back at the check-in camera, you can see both women walking out the door when Taylor throws a traffic cone at them. You can't see exactly what's going on outside, but through the door you can see a scuffle. The report says one person witnessed Taylor push the woman in white against the wall with his forearm against her throat. Another witness said he had her in a headlock and was punching her. The final thing the video shows is the woman shooting Taylor just outside the door. <laughs> All of this happened in a span of about 13 minutes. And after he was shot, Taylor was given aid and brought back inside. Now, Kentucky self-defense law says you're justified to use force if you believe you have to protect yourself against an assailant. David Ochoa, Wave News.